250 million years ago marks the end of the geological time period called the Permian. It's the rocks of the Permian that give Peter Ward his first clues. These types of layered rocks often have fossils. In fact, here in the Karoo, we find within these green layered rocks lots of fossils of two types. We find skeletons, and we find the remains of activity of animals. Some animals burrow. They make little tunnels in the strata. As a matter of fact, there's probably one sitting right back here. This is either a bone or a burrow. Here's the piece of a burrowing organism of some sort. Some animal was living and digging through the strata. It gives us a sense that not only were there larger vertebrate creatures here, but a wide diversity of smaller animals. Sometimes they died or were killed or predators took them down. Their skeletons fall in this sediment and we find it as fossils. Then suddenly the Permian ended. The rock record reveals a cataclysmic change at the threshold of the next geological period, the Triassic. We geologists can climb through time. I'm going to climb about 50 feet up through here. I'll go through two to 5,000 years of time when I do it. This is the very last layer of the Permian. As soon as I climb above this, I'm now in the Triassic. We're sitting in the very bottom beds of the Triassic. In these beds, we have no fossils whatsoever. All the Permian creatures that we saw right down there have disappeared entirely. A few of them we know survived because one or two species will be found a little higher up. But in these beds, we found nothing. Not only are there no fossils, there aren't any of the burrows or the tunnels or the traces of animal activity. We see instead layers of rock that could only have formed in the absence of animal life. So catastrophic was that mass extinction that even the small creatures have died out. It's not just the mighty, it's the meek. This place is dead. 